What's up guys, I'm Dan Hawes and welcome to House of Creations. House of Creations is my new review show uh, presented by Murphy's Magic. On this week's show we got some great products. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at Propel by Rizky Nada and Sans Mind, um, Collision by Tom Wright, and Rainbow Connection by Matthew Beach. But to kick things off, we're going to take a look at Distorted Visions by Jack Curtis. Let's get into it. Okay guys, before we get into the uh, reviews, I want to briefly go over what I'm going to be doing in my review show. Uh, I want to keep it pretty simple. Um, what I'm going to try to do is, everything I, I get submitted and take a look at, I actually want to try to perform. Um, so I've been doing that lately. Uh, putting it into my show uh, as, a, as a filler or something just to see how it works out just so I can get real life reactions of how the effects work instead of saying I would do this or I wouldn't do this or I could do this but I'm not going to I don't think that's really fair I think you need to give the product a, a real chance um, also it's all about the products it's not about bashing anybody personally it, we're just gonna focus uh, mainly 100% on the product and whether it's good or not. So let's get into it. Distorted Visions by Jack Curtis. I gotta be honest with you guys, when I first got this and took a look at it, um, I was a little skeptical about it. But as I watched it further, I really, really liked um, him as a person and, his, uh, and the way he views things. In the DVD, he kind of goes about saying how he he was a magician and he loved doing magic, but then he went more towards the mentalism route, but he still liked doing certain tricks, so he switched them so they weren't so much tricks, uh, but now they became beautiful mentalism pieces, serious mentalism pieces. Uh, he has one on here called am am Amnesic, Amnesic Transpo, okay, hopefully I'm saying that right. But pretty much what it is, is he took a two card money but made it into a mentalism piece. So it's not so much about playing cards now and a trick and more about um, the personal connection between the spectator and uh, yourself. Uh, I really like that one. Uh, that's the one that really got me hooked uh, liking this DVD because what he did was he took pretty simple effects and made them into nice pieces uh, of, of magic uh, or mentalism for that matter. Uh, here's another one on here. Uh, called Silver Lining, which I was hooked from the beginning. I love it. Uh, it's, a, it's an effect, uh, but it's also a challenge. So it's not focused so much on the, 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 the magic part of it, but it's a, it's a, it comes off as a challenge as well. Uh, pretty much um, what you do is a, it's, a, it's a guess what coin uh, I have in my hand. You do best out of five, but the end is there's a kicker. You have a beautiful prediction at the end. It just hits them. Uh, so... Distorted Visions, I would definitely give two thumbs up. If you're looking for the next groundbreaking gimmick, uh, this isn't it. But if you're looking for some real worker, uh, real life um, stuff that you can carry around with you and uh, present it, what I really like about this is you don't have to uh, kill yourself over technique and all. It's pretty much simple, um, but I think it goes from beginner to uh, the advanced professional. And, uh, but I like that because you get to concentrate 100% on presentation. So two thumbs up on Distorted Visions. Um, Jack Curtis, way to go, man. I highly suggest this. Okay, guys, like I said, uh, when I get a, 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 a review of Trick and DVD or whatever it may be, I'm going to try to either outside or in my show uh, perform it. I may get it in that same day and try it, uh, it may take me a few days, um, but I did try one off of here, actually I'm sorry, two, um, the transposition that I was talking about, I actually put in my show, two of these effects I actually put in my show, uh, and they're staying in my show, because I used to do the two card money transposition, now I do it his way, because uh, I didn't want too many card effects in my, in my uh, routines. Also, I put silver lining, the uh, what hand is the coin in. I put that into my show too, uh, and they're actually both staying in my show. I actually performed uh, silver lining the other night, so let's take a look at it. Stay. <laughs> uh, but I, 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 I started reviewing for a magic company, so uh, I told them that I would do something like for them, so I don't review something and say, ah, oh, I don't like it. 
without trying it. Okay? So I'm going to try it here tonight. It's not so much a trick, it's a, it's a game that I've personally been getting good at. Okay? So I need a scorekeeper. Um, so who will be my scorekeeper? Yep. Not everybody at once. <laughs> okay, so she's forcing your hand up, so you stay there and you come on up and give her a round of applause. Yeah. He who bites the t whatever. Get it? There was a saying there. What's your name? Maria. Maria, I'm Dan, nice to meet nice you. Nice to Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep score. Uh I'm gonna play against somebody who I think will give me some competition. Will you play with me here? Okay. <laughs> okay. Dan. And what's your name? Doreen. D-O-R-E-E-N. Doreen. Doreen versus Dan. Okay. Um, all I want you to do uh -huh. is, if Doreen wins, check her off. If Dan wins, check him off. Check her okay. off. I was about to say check her off too. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very simple game of uh, which coin is the hand in, okay? Uh, check those out for me. And I have a little prediction here. So, uh, would you hold on to the prediction? I'll take the coins back, okay? Um, these are scotch and soda. No, they're not. They are Mexican centavo. Uh, no, they're not. It's a copper English penny and a 50 cent piece. All you have to do is remember uh, silver and copper. Okay. okay. Round one. Fight. What do you think's in my hand? Copper or silver? Silver. You sure? Yes. You want to stick with silver? Yes. Lucky this. <laughs> Mark one for Doreen. One time's lucky. Yeah. Copper or silver. Best out of five, Doreen. We'll go to silver again. You have a chance to change your mind. Where are you? <laughs> I just want to let you know that is that a backward seven? <laughs> Whatever she's doing is good. <laughs> Usually by the next round I have this done. Okay. Copper or silver? I got this one. Should have stuck with silver. Yeah. Two to one, mark me down. <laughs> silver. Sure. Yes. Ooh, he's making a comeback. He's making a comeback. Yeah, mark me. That, that, I'm Dan. Yeah, I'm yeah. the good looking one. <laughs> this is it. Best out of five. Yeah, I don't know who it's going to be. Best out of five. This is it, the last round. I got a feeling you're going to change your mind. What would you say? Copper or silver for the win? And I never lose. <laughs> I better look with silver. Silver. I'm going to give you one more chance to change your mind. Silver. <laughs> Damn it. You beat me. No one ever beats me. Oh, no. <laughs> Doreen, uh, yes. would you believe me if I told you that I influenced the whole thing? That I influenced your thoughts? No. no. Uh, your son has son's been Son's friend. Son's friend. Uh, <laughs> ha ta ta, ha ta ta. <laughs> I don't know if that's a love letter or whatnot. <laughs> has been holding a wallet this whole time. Yeah. I wrote a prediction in there. Uh, would you do me a favor and take that prediction out? Okay. I'll take the wallet. No, you I open it up and read it aloud <laughs> for me. My awesome writing. Thanks for playing. I will make you win by three to two by way of correct guess, correct guess, wrong, wrong, correct guess. Okay guys, next up is Collision by Tom Wright. Collision. Um, I actually got a chance to meet Tom out uh, when I was doing my UK lecture tour and he came to my lecture and he was kind enough to uh, give me one of these uh, before he put it out and I fell in love with it right away. Uh, unfortunately, Tom, I'm sorry, but I lost it. Luckily enough, uh, Murphy sent me another one and I will not lose this one. 
uh, because I love it. Uh, pretty much what it is, it's a, it's a new take on a card stab to where you have a bag of, of folded up cards. Each spectator gets a handful of cards. Um, I love that, that, the, that a bunch of people get involved in it. Um, you have a fork in your hand. They all throw them up towards you and you stab one card. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can do a torn, restore, uh, a torn corner, a, a signed card version. He has a bunch of different uh, methods on how to do this uh, effect. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, this is definitely one that I can see myself doing um, when, you know, in the right situation. It is definitely one of those effects where uh, um, I think it's a situational uh, effect. But nevertheless, I think it's great. Actually, if you're mentalism and you do uh, metal bending, I think this is a great piece to put in there. Um, like I said, uh, when I get some effects in, I like to try them out. Uh, I did collision in my show the other night, uh, and I only practiced it for a few hours, so I will let you know that right now. But uh, let's take a look at it. I'm gonna go down the side like this, just tell me when to stop. Stop. You wanna go further? No. You just wanna be friends? No. <laughs> Weird to say that. Okay. <laughs> I gotta pick and choose my jokes a little wiser. One more time, I'm gonna stop. Stop. Take a look at it. Do not show me. Show everybody else though. Do not show me. Good. Alright. Place it back in the deck. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Pass a, take a handful, pass them around, um, and yeah, just pass them around. But everybody gets some, so the bag's empty. Are you guys necking in the theater? I saw the kiss. That's so cute. I haven't heard the term necking in a long time. Me neither. Okay. All right. No, you can take more. Take more. Take more. Just grab a handful. Yeah. We'll be here all day. This is going to be fun. Sorry, I'm just practicing. All right. All right. This is getting ridiculous now. <laughs> okay, they're empty. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I get excited. So you're thinking of a card, okay? Keep them all folded. Uh, on the count of three, I want you to throw them about in here, okay? Don't throw them like you hate me. Um, just <laughs> underhand throw them, and um, we'll see what happens here. On the count of three, ready? All of us. All of you. Yep. Ready? Yep. One. You guys are angry. <laughs> Two. Three. <laughs> I have one card. Would you do me a favor? Would you pull that? Okay. And, yeah, I made a mess. Um, open up and say out loud what the card is. <laughs> Okay guys, well, um, I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. I, uh, I really like it. Uh, it may not be for everybody, but I like it. I think there's um, endless possibilities with this. Uh, not only do you have to use playing cards, you can use business cards. Uh, I think if you put your mind to it, you can get really creative uh, with this. So Collision by Tom Wright. Two thumbs up, Tom. Good job, buddy. Um, highly recommend this one. Okay guys, next up we got Propel. Uh, presented by Sans Mind and Risky Nada. You know, when I first saw this one, I really wanted to like it. Um, I saw the demo of it. Finally, uh, I got it sent to me. And uh, I got to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed with this one. Um, you know, I think if in the right situation, uh, you could pull it off. You can't be close up to somebody. Uh, it's not. You can't be as close as... Um, you like to be in a close-up situation. Um, but I think for like a close-up parlor type show, it'd be nice. I think they needed to change up uh, what happens every time. You know, it's just, it's too smooth every single time. It's, it's kind of hard to believe, you know. Maybe cover it one time. It'd be nice if it jumped one time. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad product. 
I just think that uh, I, th I think that it could have been maybe presented a little bit better. Um, I, I actually did I actually did try this one. And I attempted it, and unfortunately, I, I got called out the very first time. Uh, so I'm not even going to show that footage because I don't want to reveal the gimmick. Um, but I think honestly, I think um, like I said, it's not a, it's not a horrible effect. I just think um, it needs to be. Um, played around with a little bit, um, I think with a little creativity and um, you know, figuring out nice routines and the right situations, um, it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, but I, I really, really wanted this uh, to be amazing uh, and it just fell short a little bit. Uh, but the guys at Sans Mind and stuff, they put out some, some pretty good effects, uh, just this one isn't one of my favorites. Uh, so Propel, yeah. Sorry about that, but uh, it's not going to go into my repertoire. Okay guys, the last one in this episode is Rainbow Connection by Matthew Beach. Uh, upon getting this, I was already excited. I'm a huge fan of uh, Matthew's work. Um, I'm familiar with other packet fit effects along these lines, uh, but what I really like about this is that he really put his time into it, just like everything else. Uh, gives you from beginner uh, basic handling to advanced handling and, and it's horrible to say but they're all good so I mean anyone you do it's really good uh, and the outcome is just a, it's a nice little kicker um, like I said I, I'm a big fan of packet tricks uh, when you don't feel like carrying a deck of cards around you know having your pockets all bulky this is a perfect trick to have on you uh, so I had I did not get a chance to perform this in my show or to a spectator yet. Um, well, funny enough, as I have performed it for people, and I'm actually I think they're getting tired of me because I keep doing it. But I haven't gotten a chance to film it, and I didn't get a chance to put it in my show. But uh, I want to do it for you now, uh, just for the camera, just so you can get a, a look at how it uh, is. It's beautiful. So let's get into that right now. Okay, this is Matthew Beach's Rainbow Connection. We got one, two, three, four red cards here. Give a little snap, and we have one, two, three, um, four blue cards now. Um, can actually take, um, actually I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Um, these use red blue cards. Okay, um, but if we take this and um, you can see the red back, right? Uh, here you can see the red back as well. Uh, this is the card that we can't use because this is the one that messes everything up. This is the red, red card. So I'm actually going to put this one away and uh, just deal with the um, red, blue ones. Okay, so red, blue. Here's the crazy thing. If I turn the um, card over, an ace appears. If I square it up, give it a little spin, all four aces appear. Not only do they appear, but they all change colors. That is Rainbow Connection by Matthew Beach. Okay guys, that's it for this week's episode. Join me next time for some more amazing effects uh, coming soon um, from Murphy's Magic and myself signing off. See you next time.